All right, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Google Ads conversion tracking with your Shopify store so that way you can start running Google campaigns and be able to track the amount of purchases you're getting. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have your Google Ads account up and then also have your Shopify store open as well and be logged in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out in Google AdWords. So this is a fresh demo account here. So this is what your um, home screen should look like as well. And then we're gonna come up here to tools and then click conversions. And then we're gonna click this plus sign here to go ahead and create the conversion. And then we're gonna click on website. And then our category is gonna be purchase. And then you can name it whatever you want, but I prefer to just name it you know, like whatever your website or store is called and then purchase but you can name it uh, whatever you see fit. And then down here for the value, we're gonna click use different values for each conversion since most likely, uh, you know, not every conversion will be worth the same amount. So we're gonna click use different values. And then you're just going to go ahead and make sure that this currency here is whatever currency your store is in. So by default, it's gonna be at US dollars. And we can just keep this at one because we'll be adjusting this later on. And then right here, we can go to the count and we're going to just leave that at every and then we're just going to leave all of this the same as well and then we're going to hit create and continue so now what we need to do is install the tags we're going to click install the tag ourselves, and we're just going to keep this as html and right here, the global site tag isn't installed on all of your HTML pages. So if you don't already have Google Analytics set up on your store, um, you're gonna have to go ahead and put this in. Now, if you do have Google Analytics, you're not gonna have to put this in, but we're just, just going to go into the assumption that you don't already have Google Analytics set up. So what we need to do is copy this code. So I'm gonna highlight it and control C, and then we're gonna open up Shopify and come over to settings. And we're gonna go down to checkout and we're gonna scroll down right here to additional scripts and we're gonna go ahead and paste that in. Now we're gonna come back to Google Ads and we're going to come down here and then we're going to go ahead and take the event snippet next and we're going to copy this code and then come back over here and paste that below the global site tag and then we're going to come back here and hit next and then hit done. So now the um, conversion is set up within Google Ads, but what we need to do is go ahead and edit some of this code over here just to make our um, tracking a little bit more efficient. So the first thing is I'm going to open up this notepad and we're going to change this value here. So I'll leave this code below this video in the description. So you're going to want to take this value code here, check out total price money without currency, copy it. And then where it says value 1.0 here, we're just going to highlight that, get rid of it, and then paste this in instead. So what this does is this actually allows the value to be fluid. So that way Google Ads will track exactly how much um, somebody purchased based off of the data being sent over from Shopify. So this is definitely something that you absolutely have to set up or else every time you get a conversion on Google, it's gonna be worth $1 or whatever um, default number you put in there. So that's the first thing we need to edit. And then the second one down here is gonna be transaction ID. So I'll leave this code in the description as well. So we're gonna copy this line of code and then replace transaction ID with it and the reason we're doing this is because adding in the order number will prevent Google from picking up duplicate conversions. So sometimes if somebody checks out and they're on your thank you page and they refresh the page or they come back to access the page later to look at their tracking or order status or something like that, Google's gonna count that as an additional conversion. However, if we put in this order number code here, it won't count it anymore because it will pick up that, oh, you know, this visitor has already ordered, it's the same order number. So it won't count as an additional conversion. So you wanna definitely make sure you put in these two edits inside of the code and then you'll be good to go. 
So from here, we just need to hit save and then that's it. You're all set. Your Google Ads um, account is going to be all set and ready to um, track all of your conversions once you start running your campaigns. So with that said, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you in another video.